Hello everyone, E here. And once again, I'm continuing my update of the Lego Harry Potter 3 broomsticks mock that I'm doing. And in this video, you see everything that has changed since the last time. So without further ado, let's get into it. Once again, we'll start with the first floor where unfortunately not much has changed since last time I have been really working on the framework of the second floor and the windows but over here what I decided to do this closet I have by the way moved the door a little bit to uh, accommodate it better with this door and this way they don't really interact with one another and this door doesn't really have any strain on the pieces as it did before I basically moved it one step to the left but I decided that this closet here it would be very difficult to kind of interact and do anything and film so I decided this wall here to make it removable this way you could easily have a look and really see what's going on here and the way it is it just this pillar here acts as a support so it doesn't really move inwards over here there is nothing for the time being i will see if i will end up adding something else because it kind of sticks out as a sore thumb but other than that i feel like this is a good option I'm still thinking whether uh, i should use uh, anything in particular inside or i should just put some shelves or maybe something more uh, fancy but this is something for the future but hopefully next time I'll be able to show you the insides of uh, the closet. As for the chairs, I am still waiting for the pieces to really uh, put all the chairs that I like. Mainly they will look like this. Uh, as you can see over here, I have uh, actually most of them done. But uh, I'm missing this piece here. Basically the uh, back support of the chair and uh, once I get those I will really see if the tables will sit the way they are now or I will, will really uh, change them a bit and after that maybe we will think about the flooring I'm still thinking about uh, adding some additional things on the walls it is a bit difficult to uh, interact with the walls but I feel like there should be a bit more um, I like the actual physical model in the movies. There isn't really all that sh that much space on the walls um, as they should be a little bit taller, but then it would make the building really unrealistically tall and really don't want to do that. But still, I feel like, for example, here, maybe here, and a few other slots here and there that we could use the space to add some stuff on the walls. And after the chairs are done, I will really just focus on uh, seeing what minifigs will be placed and where, and maybe even the flooring. Now I'm still thinking whether I should use a 2x4s in dark tan or a 1x6s uh, mainly here, yeah? and of course alternating. And I'm not really sure which will be better, but... Once we get there, I will uh, basically see which one I like more. Now let's talk about the second floor where there's a lot more going on. Here's the second floor positioned and this building is again becoming way too big. But what can you do? Like I always go overboard with these things. And let's focus on the uh, portion of the roof that I've made. Now I've ended up making it really not connected in any way. It's resting on these three uh, pieces here and underneath there is uh, obviously plate and the windows um, they are not really removable right now and I'm really thinking because here is one window and it's supposed to sit like this but there isn't really any modularity to it so you have to really kind of forcefully take it out is what I mean and once again I went back to the model that I was really using as a test 
model regarding this technique and more precisely I mean the uh, blacksmith and even over there the chimney and the window they're not really you have to take them out forcefully over here you have to take them out forcefully, especially the window to remove the uh, roof from this side so I'm really still on the fence whether these windows here should be made in a way that really would make them easily removable you have to make it so you have to take them out so I don't know um, from this side like this is the room where the scene in the third Harry Potter film is going on still no interior but the minifigs are there and there is uh, basically the door and everything else but I don't really know uh, which route to go but other than that ideally you would want to remove both windows as it is now and then this roof here will just kind of sit like so and here it's what it looks like with the windows on now obviously here there are some holes which will be covered by snow uh, and here these elements I'm testing them out but I don't really like like the idea is that the snow is kind of there is more snow over here where it's stacked but it looks kind of unnatural to me with these plates so I will probably end up just covering the whole um, roof or the majority of it with one layer of white plate and then I will use a second layer which will not cover 100% everything and I will use that to cover these holes so you can't really see inside and over here I've just placed some uh, other elements just to see how it looks this is really by far not finished but what's important is the positioning of the windows and the overall framework of the roof so the way it sits over here it shouldn't really be uh, it should be at the proper angle and the spacing over here is also kind of important for the way it is so have that figured out and with that out of the way the only more complicated part would be over here which will kind of serve the same model but maybe a little bit more complicated because these two windows interact with one another they're at the same altitude so it'll be a bit difficult to place uh, snow here and whatnot but we'll see what I did compared to last time was because over here I have some other things going on here just for the fun of it over here the altitude is the same as before and that was way too short if you notice over here it's lower compared to here so I ended up um, if you remember last time I was talking about using these slopes here or maybe a different slope that was two bricks tall so I kind of went another route and I used a layer of plate at every step basically so that increased the whole height uh, without really using different slopes otherwise I had to mix it didn't really look right to me and this is I think is a fine solution so I raised it by about uh, three bricks or so and maybe a bit more three and a half so that will raise the level obviously in comparison to the old one over here which is where it should be pretty much compared to this window should be around here and that way really allowed me to kind of stay um, honest to the original model now over here I have not really done that yet because I am missing a lot of uh, tan, dark tan plate which I have, I have ordered as well with the other things and I thought that because this is uh, time consuming really to lay plate, brick, lay, uh, plate, brick and so on and if I had to really go back and just change it after it would just so much work it's not really needed so I just did it over this side first now let's go over here now I have used this over here to kind of cover this room it should be really isolated but the way it is right now I feel 
like it will really uh, interact with the roof, which will be around here as well. And that wouldn't really work. So I will probably end up making this shorter and kind of up to here. So it doesn't really interact with another layer of plate, which will be the roof from the backside. Now the roof of the backside will be a lot easier compared to the front because there is only one window over here. And which is, uh, this is the reason I placed the bathroom over here. Now, I think I mentioned it last time, wasn't really sure if I wanted a bathroom over here, but it turns out that, well, it's a good idea. So uh, since I have the space and it does make sense to have a bathroom where the window is, uh, ended up pasting it here. Um, I am out of dark tan bricks, which I need to really complete this circle here. And then I will basically add the window and it will have another layer over here. Basically connecting this, I need this at least one layer or two layers of brick just to really get this together. And so it's very sturdy um, as well as connecting this part to this part. Currently it's only connected to the ground and it's really, when I pick it up, this is always kind of, it wants to fall apart, but once it's connected to everywhere, it will be, it will be fine. So we yeah, had the bathroom. I really didn't uh, invent the hot water here, if you know what I mean. I just looked at different models and kind of uh, made what I liked uh, with the pieces that I have. Uh, the white pieces are not really all that many. Again, we have a tan over here. Tan always indicates in this mock that these pieces should be changed with a different color. That's why I use uh, that uh, as a replacement, just to remind me what I need to order. And I feel like this is good enough. There is also a, uh, a plunger over here. You see, yeah, it's over here in the back. As for the mirror, I'm not really sure if this will stick. I have a few stickers that I can place here as a mirror. Maybe I will even remove it. I'm not really sure. Now, uh, the thing that you've noticed is that scene that it's not really done yet. And last time I mentioned that I didn't really like to show it before it's done. But yeah, the semi Easter egg thing that I liked uh, to place here is this poker game in the second floor. And it's actually a kind of a scene from the box, you know, like you remember that uh, in the first book, uh, Hagrid actually won Fluffy at, uh, I can't really, not really sure if it was a card game, he said it was a card game, but I believe he said something like that. Um, and that's why we have Quirrell here, but I put a hood on him. I'm not really sure if I should put Voldemort's face, you know, Quirrell's uh, mythic face, he has Voldemort's face on the back. Um, or I should put some black kind of cloth over his mouth just to make, because it seems a bit obvious as it is now, but at the same time, if it's, I hide his face too much, it, maybe it's not too obvious, although we have the body paint on him that uh, indicates it's him. And I also have this uh, tile here in the middle where the pot is, saying Fluffy, because this is the hand where Hagrid, quote unquote, wins Fluffy or Quirrell lets him have it. Uh, and the black tiles are the cards. And over here, because we have nine seats around this table, uh, I have some other minifigs like Jack Sparrow seems like a good addition to <laughs> poker game. The Penguin from Batman and this uh, minifig of a Native American Indian that I found you know, at a flea market and I kind of like it. So I feel like it's a nice addition, but still I have four seats that are empty and I'm not really sure who to place here. Um, so if you guys have any ideas of who would be a good addition, uh, even if I don't have the minifigure currently, the idea is good. I'm going to go and get it. Um, so far I have a few maybe last resort ideas, but I would prefer if all of them are interesting and make sense. Uh, in the end, I might end up making my own minifigs as I usually do and uh, just make something that's uh, even more interesting, but that's a tale for another day. But over here, Again, I've changed the table positions a little bit. Uh, this one be a, will be against the wall. And these two, this one against the wall as well. And this one will be ha will have like chairs all around. But I don't really want everything to be too clustered. I want the chairs to 
have a bit space to breathe. And as it is currently, I don't feel like there should be uh, space for another table, but it might change. We'll see. It really depends on the way the roof will interact. And once the chairs get here, I will really get a better idea of how to place them. One thing that concerns me is over here, uh, the heads of the minifigs, because you see now over here, the height, as I said, is not correct. But basically, when you look from this angle, the roof will be falling at the same angle and anything that sticks out will be hitting the roof which means it needs to be further to the right. But as I said, this will be a bit taller. So maybe, just maybe Jack Sparrow's head will not interact with the angle of the roof. We'll see. Uh, if not, if he does interact with it, I might have to move the table and the whole scene a little bit over here, one or two studs and maybe a little bit to the left as well. But as it is now, it's really the position I would love it to, to be because it conserves the most space. Other than that, uh, over here, the windows are still really at their skeleton shells. Uh, the windows are, these windows are really difficult to find these four by three in a reddish brown. I just, it's annoying to find them, but yeah, next, I hope I'm going to implement these windows a little bit more, uh, kind of make them with arches a little bit to the ground so they're not just stuck by this one stud or four studs over here. And then once the framework here is done, I will really design the roof as well, see how wide it is, how it will fit over here. Uh, one thing that concerns me is these pieces here that support the roof. I'm not really sure if they exist in uh, Dark Town. I should really check after uh, finishing this video because if they don't, maybe I should uh, either hide them a little bit better by uh, lowering the roof a little bit one step to um, forwards or maybe I should just use something else. One other thing is I decided not to use tan. Uh, I mentioned that maybe tan really sticks out compared to the dark tan, but the medium nougat feels a little bit better. Uh, in comparison, so I'll probably use that here in between the windows, as you can see from pictures that you see of the three broomsticks, the color here should really be different to the color of the building itself. So it's either this or tan. So I feel like this is using medium nougat is better. And the central pillar, I've actually finished it a little bit, but it should be um, up to up to here, I feel. And the roof will probably be extending another set of plates over here. Uh, it needs to be like up to here, I feel. And I'm not really sure if I should make it all with masonry bricks. I should mix it up. Uh, currently, I just built it up to here just to remember how tall it will be and probably I'll just take it apart and kind of uh, finish it up to here once I get a little bit more, uh, well, needed pieces really. And up to here, I feel like maybe I shouldn't, I mean, this will be hidden really, but maybe I should convert this reddish brown to uh, dark tan as well. So just it doesn't feel like a weird transition, but that's like one of the last things probably that we'll do even after the model is finished. I can always go back and just change the color of the pieces, but it's something to keep in mind. What worries me is the potential of being completely accurate to the building itself, because over here, I feel should be one extra window, which I would either have to implement into the roof or have to just not add it. Over here, there is another one, which I will connect to the base, which shouldn't be a problem. And, but this one is the problematic one. And over here, just above this one is one really small one, which I don't know if I should include because it's really pointless. But other than that, I feel like the implementation of the uh, windows of the number of windows, um, the quantity, it shouldn't be really difficult.
As for the back side, I um, will just have the one window here and everything else here will be probably one big uh, plate from here to here that just rests on several spaces here. But uh, if it's too clunky and too flaky, I might end up dividing it into two, but we'll see. And that really concludes all the updates I have for this model for today and for the time being. Next time, hopefully, I will be, this, these windows will look more like these windows and we'll have the uh, roof plate over here with this side raised as well. And uh, I will hopefully have interior or at least some of the interior inside this room where Professor McGonagall and the minister is with this site finished here and this site sealed off with the window and interior underneath here with the where the closet is. Now whether all of this will be done by next time, not really sure, but let's hope. Once again, I would like you to I'd like to thank you for subscribing and following me. All your opinions and comments are very appreciated. If you'd like to support me, subscribing and sharing is always nice. You can also find me on Instagram and on Discord. If you have any input or any inquiries, you can always reach out to me. I hope that my building inspires you to uh, build a lot on your own instead of just collecting sets, but that's a topic for another time really. Uh, stay healthy and I will see you very, very soon as usual. Bye for now.